Before inducing anesthesia, it is important to perform a low pressure leak test to detect any possible faults within the system. This ensures both patient and staff safety. To perform the test, first connect the appropriate rebreathing circuit and reservoir bag for your patient's weight. Then block the patient end of the breathing circuit with your thumb or palm. Next, turn on the flow meter, which will pressurize the breathing circuit and then close the occlusion or APL valve. When the manometer reaches 20 centimeters H2O, turn off the oxygen and look for an increase or decrease in pressure. A normal system should maintain pressure for 10 seconds. If the pressure continues to rise, the flush valve may be faulty or the flow meter needle valve may need to be repaired or replaced. If the system starts to lose pressure but the oxygen flow can be set at 300 milliliters per minute on the flow meter to maintain pressure, the leak is within the acceptable range. However, if a flow rate higher than 300 milliliters per minute is required to maintain 20 centimeters H2O, you must locate and correct the leak before using the machine. One way to do this is to follow the flow of gas through the anesthesia machine and spray the root with soapy water in all suspected areas. Bubbles will form if a leak is present. At the end of a test, always release the pressure in the circuit by releasing the occlusion valve or opening the APL valve slowly. Then evacuate the reservoir bag through the scavenger system, only then removing your hand from the patient end. Removing your hand first can cause absorbent dust to enter the breathing hoses and potentially enter a patient's airway.